Oh, 72, 4, 6, 8, 78, 80, 80 pounds. They're used to counting here in Peterhead's fish market and they're experts at counting votes too. This election is the fifth in six years. Apart from one year off, there's been a poll in Scotland every year since 2014. How many seats will the SNP stack up? And are the Tories heading to the deep freeze? Like here in Banff and Buchan. Well, I hope everyone votes for Boris. Let's just leave, just let's get it done. We're a laughing stock of the world just now. Just let's get it done. This icy market is a fierce battleground. An SNP minister was even visiting at the same time as us. They think they can win it back. Why are you going to vote for the SNP? Because I'm Scottish. But he was the minority. This area was firmly part of the SNP fleet, held by the party for 30 years. But Brexit broke the bond. What's the weather like out there at the moment? Well, the last few days has been quite nice. Stephen is heading to fish in the North Sea this afternoon for seven days. I don't like some of the policies of the Tories, you know. When you hear some company directors in this country earning 270 times of what a normal worker earns, it's totally out of sync with what it should be. If you're going to hunker me down, I probably will vote for the Conservative Party, but just, just because of Europe. Referendums crowd the horizon. If northeastern coastal seats embrace the impact of Brexit, southern seats want the still waters of the Union and the 2014 Indy Ref respected too. But 62% here voted Remain and the SNP believes Brexit could break up the UK. Here in Arbroath, Scottish Lords declared independence from the English 700 years ago and the fight goes on. Right now the seat is Conservative but with heritage like this, surely Nicola Sturgeon can win it back. People like Eddie are certainly trying. The mood is for independence. I think we're, we're well over 50%. And um, Nic Nic Nicola is a very, very good politician. She just has to bide her time, basically. It'll happen. Once the SNP had almost every seat, now just 35. So I'm calling Colin. How will they do this time? She's not going to wipe the Conservatives out, as happened a dozen, 15 years ago in Scotland. But she needs to win seats to them. She needs to win seats from Labour. If they get to 45 or even above, she will think she's had a good election. It gives her a justification to call on the British government to say, give me another referendum. If Sturgeon hopes Brexit puts new fire under demands for independence, for some, Brexit has been such a mess, it's actually put out the flame. I do a lot of trade with England. So if Scotland to pull away from England and then go with Europe, would there be tariffs for trade going to England? You know, it's, that's the worrying point. Night falls even earlier on the northeast coast, but there's little sleepy about it. Scotland may back Boris and help Brexit happen, or Sturgeon and help independence. Even in the half-light, they can see change coming. Allegra Stratton, News at 10, Arbroath.